Hello everyone, my name is Elena Yoon and I'm a grade 8 student. Today I want to talk about the Russia and Ukraine war and how it is affecting the world economically and socially. The ongoing political war between Russia and Ukraine has crippled close countries, but it is not just them that seeing consequences. The war's disastrous effects can be seen all around the globe. From vehicles to creating energy, oil is the blood that stabilizes our economy. But with over 10% of oil exports close to gone, the world is now faced with an oil crisis that has impacted the global economy. After all, Russian oil is 13% of global oil exports. But since he started the war, Western nations have imposed sanctions against Russia, leading to the screeching stock of Russian energy supply, causing oil and gas prices to skyrocket. In addition to the oil crisis, the bitter war between the two countries has also played a part in the global food shortage. Ukraine has produced 10% of the world's wheat and 15% of corn, but the war has led to the depletion of 9.5 million tons of these products, giving rise to global food shortage. Yet, it is not just the economy that has been affected. The war has also made us realize how fragile the international bonds are, accentuating our vulnerability. You see, Globalization is like a pendulum. When it moves forward, countries become more cordial with each other, creating a win-win environment. But when it moves backward, our trust in globalization starts to break, leading to the rise of mercantilism. The war has made the backward change of globalization dramatically worse. People's trust in globalization has started to shatter. The crack in humanity's trust in globalization will be followed by a sense of a willingness to acquire knowledge of different cultures. Trepidation goes hand in hand with lack of knowledge, and as humans fail to contribute to cultural diversity, oblivious to surroundings other than the one you live in, fear of the unknown will only grow. From tigers to darkness, humans have a long history of killing the cause of their fears, and with no understanding of one another, we will end up even more conflicts. Yet, these unlocking situations are only the tip of the iceberg. When such cracks to the, uh, develop into fissures, trust in one another will no longer be found, and the world will be forced into a state of paranoia. The long-term effects of the war will change the outlet in uh, international society half for each other, leading to centuries of mistrust even after the war is brought to an end. Humanity will face sluggish technological advancements and will be too occupied with pondering ways to eliminate one another, and we will be blind to world-ending disasters like meteors or super diseases. However, depending on the speed of the resolution, a uh, change in momentum is still possible. If international societies unite and resolve it as quickly and humanely as possible, we might still salvage the good name of globalization. A quick but resolute response will show that interconnected nations have the power and determination to overcome problems, strengthening the solidarity between countries. The progressing war between Russia and Ukraine has influenced not only the two countries, but also the whole world. It has caused an oil crisis, a food shortage, and it has hindered our trust in mobilization. Let us hope that this war can be resolved quickly and that the pendulum can become forward-facing again, where cooperation and peace amongst the countries are the norm. Thank you. Elena, thank you very much. That was <laughs> very well prepared. Lots of great information there. Um, and I, I very much agree that I hope that yeah. we can that we can solve the war issue as as quickly as possible. I think everyone does. So I am curious, what do you believe the international community can do not to solve the issue as it is, because we just have to wait for it to end, but once it ends, how can we help to swing that pendulum back again as quickly as possible? I guess uh, it's very important to educate the young, um, the, uh, our offline, uh, our uh, offsprings and students about the importance of peace and uh, equality while also um, like telling them about how um, like it's important uh, uh, telling them about the importance of trade and informing them that um, small conflicts can be resolved very quickly if uh, how lots of uh, international powers try to unite and use their unity as a um, power to uh, yeah, solve those kind of conflicts. Cool. I hope that works. Thank you very much. <laughs>